From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. Potential tropical cyclone number six still out there in the Gulf of Mexico. So what does that mean? It means it's not quite a tropical system as of yet, but a threat to become a tropical storm or hurricane within the next 48 hours. So it does allow the National Hurricane Center to issue advisories and a cone of uncertainty. This all began in 2017. Here is the latest. It is expected to become a hurricane maybe as early as Wednesday. If or when it does become a name storm, it'll be called Francine. We're also watching these areas out in the Atlantic, one of which has a high chance of further development. This area in red here does already have spaghetti plots associated with that area of low pressure as it moves towards, looks like the Lesser Antilles, and then there's some differences in opinion as to where it will go about seven to 10 days out. But we're heading really into the heart of hurricane season. Tomorrow is the official peak of hurricane season. After tomorrow, typically the activity does start to decrease just a touch. So far, we've had five named storms. Our next named storm in the Gulf of Mexico will likely become a named storm. It'll be called Francine. So far, hurricane season, here are all the tracks for the systems. We've had so far, and we'll continue to track those three areas, especially the one in the Gulf of Mexico. 63 degrees, that's our morning low so far, unofficial morning low. 53 in Rock Hill, and these are the weather headlines we're kind of following. Sunny skies today, warmer compared to yesterday. Rain returns later this week. Yesterday managed to hit 78 degrees. Did have a little bit of rain over the weekend. 407 inch on Friday, 207 inch on Saturday. Record rainfall was set last year on this day, an inch and seven tenths. Record high is going to be safe and record low will be safe as well. As we do move through the rest of your Monday, a lot of sunshine. We'll have a few clouds, it looks like, for Tuesday. Clouds really start to build in by Wednesday, and then those rain chances will start to increase across South Carolina and the Midlands, it looks like, late in the day on Thursday. Over the next Seven days, we could pick up anywhere from three quarters to an inch and a quarter of rain across the Midlands. Some isolated areas may get a little bit more. It does look like a little bit more rainfall in the upstate of South Carolina. European forecast model shows basically dry conditions through Friday, and then those rain chances will increase. American model shows a little bit of a different scenario, showing the rain moving in late in the day on Thursday. As of right now, we do have a chance to rain late in the day on Thursday with those rain chances hanging around Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. For today, highs in the low 80s with a breeze out of the northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mid-80s Tuesday, we'll say mid-80s on Wednesday. Chances to rain increase late Thursday, scattered showers and storms possible Friday, and there will be the possibility for some rain over the weekend. Rip current still a little bit of an issue along the coastal region, so moderate risk for dangerous rip currents. Do expect some rain Friday in Myrtle Beach and scattered showers and storms Saturday and Sunday along the coastal region. That includes Charleston as well. Those sh scattered showers and thunderstorms are expected. And some rain in the upstate on Thursday. Looks like rain Friday and possibly some scattered showers and storms Saturday and Sunday. As we look ahead, 8 to 14 days out, warmer than normal conditions, September 16th through September 22nd. Looks like we'll be near normal as far as those rainfall amounts are concerned for the majority of the Palmetto State. We're less than two weeks away from the fall equinox. Halloween is 52 days away and Veterans Day is nine weeks from today. That would be November the 11th. As always, you can follow me on the social media outlets. Have a great Monday and a great work week.